Hello anyone tuning in to this uh, video tour. Today is September 11th of 2020 and uh, once again I am in northern Manhattan. It is around 8 p.m. as this video is being filmed. I'll try to post it on the social media channels and on 5dguy.com by today so that it's there in the memory and the record. I am in the northern section and some of you might have already recognized what I have directly in front of me here. This is the George Washington Bridge, today illuminated as it's the 19th anniversary of that day that will never be erased from the memory of time. The George Washington Bridge has been here since 1931 and is the only bridge over the waters of the Hudson River in comparison to the close to 20, uh, 20 bridges that are spanning over the East River behind me here, east from where I am. This is now beginning to look west, that's New Jersey on the other side, I'm on the Manhattan side. If I point the camera down, you can see that I'm technically on top of a big rock, of a big boulder. Uh, I think you can pick it up, yes. Uh, this is a park. This is for Washington Park where I am. It is close to 8 p.m. I have to adjust my schedule a little bit so that when I do my afternoon jogs, I don't end up when it's nighttime. This is a unique phenomenon to me as I am, I don't know, it's 8 p.m. and I think it's still early, but uh, nevertheless, that's this, uh, what do we have over here? That's New Jersey, this is looking north. Uh, and territory that's not developed. So a lot of stories connecting and this is to specifically provide this vision. New York is filled with lights as you can see represented with the George Washington Bridge here but this stretch here is completely uh, dark for the most part and that's because that's the New Jersey Palisades at a section that were paid off so that they look like this so that they look dark so they look so that it doesn't look developed so to so that it look it looks pristine and that is in connection to the Cloisters Museum which happens to be in the Manhattan side. The Cloisters Museum is a part of the Metropolitan Museum and visiting is like visiting medieval Europe and as you look across the Hudson River from the Cloisters you get this bucolic view, a view that looks undeveloped, that almost looks a bit medieval in comparison to what we have south of the George Washington Bridge where you see more lights. This is a video tour. I'm doing it so late at night uh, and in these dark conditions. So to emphasize the dark and the light from the point where I'm standing, this is a very popular overlook in this park. Uh, I'm gonna now get away from these rocks. Let me try to move about. I'm sorry that it's so dark. Very soon it'll get lighter again as I get closer to the George Washington Bridge. I want to take a look at this bridge and then also take a look at the landscape down south as from this point we can also see Tribute in Light. Tribute in Light is that very popular light beam that is displayed in Lower Manhattan marking this day that we will never forget. Let's see, so now I'm gonna basically pretty much leave this area. This is the overlook if you stand here looking across the George, uh, uh, the Hudson River. You get this high overlook of Manhattan Mica Schist and uh, I'll try to make a video during the daytime as well so that we have a, a better understanding or a better view of this area here because although it's very dark right now there's actually a lot to see there's a lot of noise as well I'm going under the George Washington Bridge right now let's see I'm going under the George Washington Bridge here go down this hill here so to get to the southern side of the bridge as you can see there's a lot of noise and that's because the cars on the two level bridge two decks to this bridge are directly on top over here directly above it we can also see the tower, the Manhattan Tower. This is a tower that has to be at least maybe 30 stories tall. As I move further down this hill, 
you can have a better view of the underside of this uh, tower on the Manhattan side. It's a magnificent structure. It's almost as if light has been framed in these metal lines. It's a beautiful glow. As I get further away from it, you'll see how special this view is. A view that is displayed today because it's September 11 and also another major holidays. Some flowers here as well. It's interesting, these flowers, they smell sort of fragrant and are called devil's hair because apparently they grow very fast and they basically wrap around everything and we have them growing all over in this stretch over here on top of this ivy and other shrubs. Not the best time to see flowers and to see flora as it's uh, pretty dark right now. But let me keep going down here, get go past the tower in the distance there. We can see the New Jersey Tower, the underside of the New Jersey Tower. This is a bridge that originally was meant to be covered in a more traditional material, in stone or marble. And this would have given it a classical look, but they left it in this skeleton format and now the lighting helps add a new dimension of appreciation. Not very long ago they organized and uh, they redeveloped the lighting and it's, the bridge today is looking better than ever. It is still going through some repairs and renovations as it's the case with almost everything in New York. Going down this hill, you can see there's a lot of equipment here, a lot of noise as well. I'm just gonna move further down this promenade over here so to look back at it. And from this vantage point, I think you can already begin to see tribute in light. The 9-11 memorial directly straight ahead. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yes, I don't know how clear it is, but that beam of light that you see directly at the center. That's tribute in light. That's the September 11 tribute in light. Under the George Washington Bridge on the Manhattan side is the iconic Little Red Lighthouse. An official lighthouse. Installed here in the early 20th century. And actually here's the history. I'm not gonna stop too much on it because it's kind of dark to read I think or difficult to look at. And we're here today to take a look at the light. we've used light to in a sense accentuate our existence after especially after this tragedy from uh, 19 years ago and here is the Hudson River so before when I started the video I was on top of a big rock of a big boulder of Manhattan mica schist Manhattan Mica Schist is the bedrock of Manhattan. In some areas you get big mounds, big mountains of them. In the northern section of Manhattan, they are very abundant. Upper Manhattan is very hilly. So this is looking south down there. You can see the tributing light. Center is the New Jersey Tower of the George Washington Bridge and 
expanding closer to us. The Manhattan Tower. Impressive bridge, one completed longest suspension bridge in the world and today the busiest bridge in the world actually. More vehicles go through this bridge than any other bridge on planet Earth. Today I'm basically pretty much uh, jogging in this park and uh, when I first started jogging a very long time ago, I used to jog across the George Washington Bridge but the smell of the exhaust from, the, from all the cars is very unpleasant, it makes it very unpleasant to run and jog along this otherwise beautiful bridge, iconic bridge and spectacular views of Lower Manhattan and of the, of the Hudson River. Let me see how close I can get to this area here so that we can take a look at the Lower Manhattan skyline and tribute and light as well. There it is. Let me see if I can go down. I have to be careful here because it is very dark and I cannot see very much. It will not be fun to fall. There's a lot of rocks here and that's because this is pretty much right next to the water. Very often this area is uh, covered in water when the tide rises. This rock is slippery, so I have to be careful. And that's the Hudson River. And that's Lower Manhattan, all the way in the distance there. I'm sorry, the focus is not very good, but nevertheless, you can see. Tribute in light. I want to thank everyone who keeps connected to this guy, those who share the post. I've been uh, posting for quite some time now. The inspiration for this guy in part is uh, September 11, 2001, a day that felt that time stopped and I've experienced uh, some very interesting information relating to the psychology of that day when everyone's attention in the world was focused to this island to Lord Manhattan and today the things that you see here can give you very unique experiences that reflect on a world that's united, marked by abundance and uh, collaboration. The George Washington Bridge is one of those sites that when you see it, it impresses upon you a very special feeling because it's a magnificent structure with an incredible history honoring the founding father of the United States and again it is the only bridge over the waters of the magnificent and historic Hudson River. If you inspected the timeline as well you'll see that in the middle of the 19th century an American artist created a work of art entitled Henry Hudson entering New York Bay September 11, 1609. 1609 is when we creatively as a society marked the day when New York City was discovered, September 11th, it took, or not discovered, but uh, when it began, when it entered into the European way of organizing society, of organizing the world, and September 11, 2001 marked a very tragic end of an old way of living. But uh, here we are 19 years later, and I bet that next year for the 20th anniversary, Things are gonna be even more interesting and more peculiar. I'm gonna leave you with this last view. Thank you for your attention. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye bye.